Hi everyone and welcome back to a brand new vlog. Hello. So we have just parked up. It is a glorious day and we are here at Chessington World of Adventures. We are going to the World of Jumanji Merlin Annual Pass event so this is on the sunday and then it opens to um everybody tomorrow yeah. on monday <laughs> the reason i'm doing the drums is because i'm a massive fan of like the original jumanji and i like the new one i've not seen the latest of the set of the new ones but uh like the original jumanji uh was one of the first films i remember watching yeah and, and i I did watch the original, but a long time ago when I was young, the one with Robin Williams. I'm hoping there's some Easter eggs about the original, because yeah. I think this is mo mainly based on the new one. And then I watched the new one quite recently, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. With um, Dwayne Johnson, and I really, really loved it. It's a really good film. So we're very excited for this land. We're going to go in, explore it, try and get on all the rides. We're not sure how busy it's going to be. It's a Merlin annual pass pass holder event um so i'm not really sure what the capacity is but hopefully we'll be able to get on a lot of the rides i think there's three rides in the land mm -hmm. um so quite a few to get on and yeah we'll show you around and a huge thank you to merlin annual pass and also chessington world of adventure for inviting us to this event today we're really excited We're in, so there's a table over here, so we think this is where we grab our wristbands. We can see the ride! Oh, here we go! The drums are going, the drum beat! Oh, there's the ride! <laughs> a game for those who seek to find a way to leave their world behind. This used to freak me out, because uh, it came up on the board game. <laughs> Oh, this sign says you've saved Jumanji. You may oh, now right. exit the game. <laughs> there are some he hidden Easter eggs, aren't there? Like, even we've only just walked in and there's like yeah. a few things to read and see. Hold on to your backpacks. I think these are the chess pieces, aren't they? These are the pieces of the game in the first movie. I'm sure they are. Here's another one gonna make me want to watch all the films again and I've got to at some point say it's a stampede so I think this is meant to look as well like the centerpiece of the game that brings up all the, the different messages I think so anyway it says world of Jumanji ah, look out run away no don't run towards it oh look Beside the hippopotamus, you've got another one of the Finbar fact files. Oh no! Someone's not paid attention! This way up. Oh! Challenge! A strength in math is what you'll need to crack the puzzle and proceed. So what do we got? Ah, so, oh, do you have to work out how much each animal is worth, I think. So I think this might be a food cart. So we'll go around to the other side in a second. Warning, mandrels! Yes, they've included it! The classic quote. And that's for ostrich stampede. We've got an exploration truck. I like this. <laughs> That's cool. So I've just noticed this petrol station here and it has got this sale 2017. Is that when the first of the new movies came out? Maybe. And then over on this one it says this sale 2019. That sounds about right. Is that when has the second new one came out? Yeah. Yeah. We'll have to double check. That sounds about right though. Oh, it says 96 gallons, so what's... Oh, 96! That's when the first one came out. Yeah, Welcome to the Jungle, 2017. The next level, 2019. When I searched uh, the original Jumanji, it said 95. But is that an American release? Maybe it was released in 96 over here. The Bazaar. So you've got some games over here. Berry Barrels. And then you've got, oh, these are the refillable machines. Got some tools. Oh, staff register. Do you recognize any of them? Hmm. No. Unless 
see the people that worked on the hill. Or did they work on the park? Test your strength. Dr. Small the Brave Stone. Are you him? <laughs> One pound to play. Is this set in the um, first film where they're in the they're in the bazaar, aren't they? Yeah. I can't say too much because I'll spoil it. So this is another ride, Mamba Strike. Put your hand in there. Jumanji shop. Challenge three. Oh, wait, what was the other challenge? Was that challenge one? Feel inside, but do beware. The creature hiding might give you a scare. Like this. Go on. Do it. No, Go on. I can't. I don't like. No, I can't, I can't eat it. Oh no, I'm scared. <laughs> oh, it's a snake. Oh, is it like slithery? It's meant to be a snake. Oh, is it? Well, I'm guessing from the It feels like it could be a snake. So we just come around the corner to the shop to have a look at the merch. Electronic game board. You can get the game you design. Oh wow, that's Board's the actual game. game. <laughs> So cool. Do not begin unless you intend to finish. I love that. Then they have the mug. This is cool. It has like a snake wrapped around it. Oh, look, so that was that's the board game but in a different um, sort of package. Uh, this is if you this is if you want it in the actual wooden box. Like uh, the movie. That's very cool. <laughs> so this mug here is £15. I can't see the price of the game. They also have this book. So that's like a lined notebook. And then for £15 as well, you have this mug, World of Jumanji, kind of more of an understated one. And then moving around here, looks like they've got, oh, they have a water bottle, Jumanji water bottle. This is £15 as well. Oh, I like this. A little bag. Oh no, this that's 20. 20 pounds. These are plushes of the characters. <laughs> oh, they're cute. How much are the plushes? 16 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> that's my favourite. That's Jack Black. <laughs> <laughs> These are all from the newer films. Yeah. Uh, got the mugs again. A little ostrich here for six pounds. A mandrel. <laughs> oh, and then you've got kind of like... Oh, they're cool. All of the merch. So you have these fleece. vests, fleece vests. These are thirty-five pounds. So you can look like you're in the film. This is nice. A shirt. Forty. World of Jumanji, forty pounds. And then you've got the t-shirts, twenty-five pounds. And then you have oh, the hoodie. jumpers, the hoodies. These are forty-five. And they have World of Jumanji. Again, you've just got lots of little. Uh, little Jumanji pens, these are £2.50. So you've got some rulers behind there as well. And then you've got the larger mandrill uh, plush here. Can't see a price for him. And then you have a world of Jumanji. It's like a bag. Oh, a bag cover. Uh, no, it's a bag. I think you like bring it out of here. Oh, so this is it? Yeah. Oh, that's quite cool. You can like fold it up when you're not using it. And that is £10. And then they have some children's clothes here as well. So they have the fleece vests again. They have the jumper here for 25 They have a mandrill mayhem jumper as well. And then they have the t-shirts. Um, that one is £18.50. Oh no, £18, sorry. Finish the game, World of Jumanji. And then can't see a price for the others, but I'm guessing there'll be a similar sort of price. Oh, we've got some paw prints on the floor. I like that the ground is like in segments, almost like the board game as well. <laughs> oh, we've got some musicians.
shot off of mandrel mayhem and I loved it. It was really, really, really good. It's kind of sort of like a mini swarm in the way that it's set out because you're sitting down, uh, you sit down in pairs on either side and it has a bit like, it, the theming in there is amazing. Um, it's like you're being held by a mandrel and um, so that setup is kind of like swarm at Thorpe Park but the ride is actually really unique so um, I don't want to give away too many spoilers but there are times that I didn't even see coming. I hadn't watched a ride point of view so I wasn't really sure at what point... No, there isn't one, yeah, because you can't film. So I wasn't sure at what point like you turn, at what point you go backwards, at what point you go forwards, how fast it was, anything like that. I was completely in the dark. I would say that it, it's probably more intense than it looks, um, but it's really, really good. I loved it. So I thought what I'd do is I'd quickly go around and show you the height requirements for each ride. So this is Ostrich Stampede. restriction for Mandrel Mayhem. Oh, it's about to go backwards. This is so impressive. <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh, there's a map of the land. Oh, look there. There's the board. <laughs> Finbar fact file. Likes dark caves. Mandrill monkey. Monkeys always slow the expedition. Remember the goal for you, I'll write in verse. Complete the missions and lift the curse. If you wish to leave the game, you must save Jumanji and call out its name. So we're going to grab some food and we just met the Kershaw Adventures! Or the next adventure, there's two uh, YouTube channels so make sure you check them out. But this, where they're selling the food from, was actually from another uh, ride in a different park, Ripsaw in Thorpe Park, and they moved it over here. So we just picked up a hot dog and then we also picked up this little snake cupcake which is cute. We've done these in a weird order. Oh, we have, because we did one, three, and now two. <laughs> Choose your path to reach the gem, but do be warned, you can't try again. And you've got to try and get to the middle. Oh, on this. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was in the <laughs> Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, the Kershaw's told us as well that this on the wall here, this is another Easter egg, because this is the ride vehicle of the Jumanji ride in Gardaland. Okay. You must save Jumanji and call out its name. So the time for our wristband is up, so we're going to have to leave the world of Jumanji. It was a nice little sneaky peek, but then here, this is at the entrance bit, there was drummers here earlier. So we are now back in the car, ready to go home. We really enjoyed that little sneak peek of Chessington, World of Jumanji. It's a really, really good land, a lovely addition to Chessington. The Mandrel Mayhem roller coaster. Let us know in the comments if you're gonna go on it um, anytime soon. I'd highly, highly recommend it. Really, really good fun. And it's sort of like probably the most thrilling ride at Chessington. I would say. I yeah, think it's definitely. more thrilling oh. than Vampire no, and Dragon's Fury. Yeah, well, um, it's the only one that goes upside down, isn't it? Yeah, so it's a nice kind of like step up um, if you fancy something a little bit more thrilling at Chessington. And yeah, loved it. Really, really good. I like the homages to the original film. Yeah, it? the theming is great. Um, I'm excited for when sort of the plants grow so that it looks more sort of jungle and I think the maze will look good because then you sort of find your way to that middle bit of the maze where it says World of Jumanji on the floor. Um, but yeah, overall the theming is really good, has lots of hidden Easter eggs, uh, probably some which we didn't even see as well. So yeah, definitely a, a ride and a land to go explore. We didn't manage to get on Ostrich Stampede or the other one which I believe is called 
Mamba. Mamba strike. strike. We had a look at them from the outside. Both of them look really good. Uh, just some nice flat rides to kind of fill out the land. Um, it's nice as well because if you're not really up for the big roller coaster, you can go on either of them. Um, I think the ostrich stampede was having a few teething issues because it wasn't going up and down, it was just going round. But then by the time we left, it started going up and down kind of like bouncing and it looked really really good um so let us know if you've been on that as well i'm sure we'll get on it at some point when we go back to chessington uh, but a huge thank you to merlin and your pass and for chessington we loved it and thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one if you like this video hit the like button and also subscribe see you soon bye toodle pipski